And these are the fish that we caught today. Now, I put out sturgeon fishing twice, caught eight shakers, and you've seen that show when we did the North Bay, and this time we went out to the South Bay and we caught two keepers. So this is proof that there are sturgeon out there and they can be caught. Hi, welcome to today's Western Angler. I'm your host, Fred Beliva, and today we're going to be doing some sturgeon fishing in the South Bay. And as today, my special guest, I have our uh, guide and our skipper, uh, Frank Veer. Frank? Thank you very much for having me on the show, and my brother, I sure appreciate us uh, coming out and uh, taking us to your uh, your sturgeon hole. Now, what are we going to be doing today? What are you going to be showing us today's show? Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to catch a sturgeon, Okay. Uh, the safe ways to get it in the boat, uh, ways that uh, I learned from my friends that uh, how to catch a sturgeon. When you come out sturgeon fishing, um, you can't gaff a fish. You can't gaff. And that's because there is a minimum. Is Which minimum? is? It's 46 inches. 46 inches. So the fish has to be 46 inches at least to? To keep. To keep. And, and the size? 72. 72. So it has to be between 46 and 72. Yes. Can't be any lower or any higher. Correct. So what, what method do you use to bring them in the boat if you don't gaff them? Uh, I got a net that you can net the fish or you got a snare that you can snare the fish. Uh, they're both safe. It does not hurt the fish. So if it doesn't come up to a legal fish and you can release it, then it's not harm. Excellent. And what, what are also the species that we have a chance of catching in here? Because there's, there's lots of fish in here besides sturgeon. You can catch uh, nice sized leopard sharks. Okay, can, what's a leopard shark? What's the size if there is? Uh, and limit. The limit is three fish per person. The size is 36 inches. Uh, and then again, there's no gaffing then either. It's either net. Correct. Okay. Net or um, the, what I call lasso, but you guys call it the... Uh, snare. Snare. <laughs> I always lose that. Okay. So, uh, okay. Now, the, the shark is three per person. Three per person. And a minimum size? 36 inches. 36 inches. And then also the other species that we might be catching. You can get stingrays. Is it possible getting some stripers? Uh, we've seen a few salmon jump, so you never know. So what's, uh, what's the limit or the size or, or the catch limit on a stingray? Uh, is there any there at all? Is, not that I believe there's no size on a stingray. Okay, how about, no the, how about the how about the striped bass? Two two bass got to be 18 inches. Okay, and then again, that's why you don't gaff. You either net Correct. or you use the harness. Correct. Okay, so and then uh, you mentioned oh a salmon of course a salmon running through here, and is there any size limit or any catch limit? Uh, tw uh 24 inches, and there's two per person. But it's very, very hard to catch one. We've seen them, but we haven't caught them going. Well, we're not, we're not really fishing for salmon, right. but, but there's a possibility. Right. So you, you must be aware of all the regulations, of all the techniques on catching these fish. Uh, no gaffing, especially when there's a size limit, a minimum or a maximum, as, um, as he just said. So you have to be very careful in this area. Uh, it's, it's, it's abundant of uh, fish in this area and you can catch any amount of species just fishing for one species even though you're not trying to catch shark or stingray or stripers you may catch them because this is the bait that they'll be feeding on well frank thank you very much and i hope you have a good day slice the head on an angle the guts and the blood will come out of the front okay i slice a little bit off the top so we get a better scent so what you're doing is you're opening up the cavity so that the scent comes out in the right. water and the fish can pick it up. Right. Okay. And now, what size hook is this? Blue fan, blue fan, come back to the hammer. You can here. use, uh, <laughs> I use in between a five and a seven. And I like to shank it towards the back of the fish. So my, my, shank, my shank will stick out a little. And I'll throw two, uh, two loops at the back of the fish. No, my fish will hang like this way. Okay, now what's the regulation here? It should be more than 18 inches long. From the shank of the hook? From the hook to the, to the slider. Okay. Now, um, you also have um, a way that you hook it up to your, your line on your pole, too, and I want to show that, too. Okay. okay? Uh, so, you know, it's, it's great to, to learn these tricks again that, that um, from each time that I go out, 
that that is helpful for the fishermen and I think this is a very good uh, um, thing to learn that when you go out that you quick release so you can get that hook away get that pole away and then you can grab that hook and and you can deal with that fish because hopefully during today's show you're gonna see what I'm talking about because those fish are pretty big now uh, we're out with Frank and he's our captain and our guide today and also fishing on the boat is my brother Bob and again um, unfortunately he's behind the camera right now but when he hooks up one on his pole then I'll be filming him and then uh, he'll get on camera so I hope you like today's show again I want to mention we're in the South Bay and my name is Fred Boliva and the show is Western Angler and I'd like to welcome you to today's show and it's all about sturgeon fishing in the South Bay so I hope you like today's show hang in there we're gonna get some fish you got one on? Yep. did you see a roll? Yep. there it is sturgeon Ready, Bobby? Yeah. Over here. Remember, head in first. Head in first. The net is the... Come on. Oh, it's barely hooked. Look at that. It's pretty good size. What do you think, Frank? Yep, nice, nice chubby one. Where do you think he'll go? Uh, 55 to 57. Let me get a look. Inches, and how about pounds? Pounds, uh, 40, 45. 45. What size is he, Frankie? He's 54 and a half. Okay, 54 and a half. It's uh, 56. 56. Okay, now what's what's the minimum size? Minimum is 46, and the biggest you can get is 6 foot with 72 inches. So 72 inches or over, you have to throw them back? You got to throw them back over 72 inches. And under? Under 46 inches, you got to throw them back. So this one would... What do you got, Frankie? What do you think? Fish on? Fish on. Maybe a small sturgeon. Feels good? Star. Huh? Feels good. Danny! Coming up. It's giving you a good play. Yeah, he's tough. Good fight. He's putting a good fight, Frankie. Was he underneath the boat? Yeah. Yeah. When I put the pool in the water, it's because the fish goes around, see? And if I don't do that, it'll go on the out drive and it gets cut off. on the out drive and we'll break them off. Good fight. It moves too much for being a, uh, a sturgeon. sturgeon. Might have a stingray. Hope not. He's giving you a tug. Yeah. Don't go over. 
<laughs> How close are we to seeing them? Uh, it's hard to tell. We're in 15 foot of water right here. And straight down. See what it is. He wants to get overdrive. Outdrive. Whoa. What was it? Not a sturgeon. Sturgeon. Well, there's your keeper. Yeah, baby. There's your keeper. Yeah. There's your keeper is right. I don't know. I'm not sure. No. We have a small oh, he's not a keeper. Well, we got a shaker for the day. Yeah, it's a shaker. Now you can do a catch and release. Yeah. Yeah. He's releasing the hook off of the leader. And now he's going to try to thread the, the weight. Right on. Which is on a release also. Okay. What size do you think it is? I'd say 40. 44. It's. Now, what's the minimum? 46. It's a 45 inch fish. So it's not a keeper. It's not a keeper. Okay, we're going to put. This is also the reason why you got to net the fish. So if it's not a keeper and it's not hurt, you put it back in the water and it still lives. To fight another day. To fight another day. Get bigger. Let's, let's hold it up and show it. So it's about an inch, it's an inch, inch too, short. too short. But it's still a nice fish. Bright. It's an average fish, but... It's uh, a bright fish. It's a nice little fish. Excellent. Okay, we'll catch them some other time, somebody else. Fish on? Fish on. Fish on. Nice running fish. Took a nice big run. Yeah. Jump ship. Good fight. Uh, good fight. Right now he's giving me a little bit of line. Bobby. I'm to the right. No, Bobby, lift up your thing. See, you're on it. Go underneath me. Upstream. What do you think, Frankie? Yeah. Nice surgeon. Might be a keeper this time. Might be a keeper this time. I know what you're trying to do, trying to net my fish. Chasing you around, huh, Frank? Yep. Switch. What do you say? I know why you bring Bobby to use the net. Still bringing him in.
That's one thing with these sturgeon, boy. They're like submarines. You gotta tire them out. Too high here, Bobby. No, 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 get the other one. I didn't see him, but... Get the snare? Shoot. Get the snare? You think it's good? It's big? Yeah, it's a nice fish. Get the snare. Some salt, Bobby. Coming up. Let's see what it is first. I'm pretty sure it's turkey. That's a nice one. Let's see what I'm getting a foot. Nope. Steam ray. Big ray. Big ray. I think it's the keeper. <laughs> He's tearing line. Well, he's peeling line off. Sides, Fred, back up right into the sun. we're facing the bay way and not into the ocean we'd be out going underneath the gate <laughs> yeah i wish they'd break well the fight's got this thing in reverse so i'm able to bring bring him up stop running so yeah go ahead This is it when you're catching sturgeon. This is what you got to deal with. These things are big fish. I hope I hope we got one on here. You're going to be able to see the size and, and how powerful these fish are. Again, they uh, they say they date back to prehistoric times. Well, you're going to see exactly what we're talking about when we get this thing in. And I'm confident that we're going to do it. He hasn't broke water yet, Fred. He could be a shark. He could be a shark, and if it is, uh, we'll also keep it. Frank says no. <laughs> We're right here, Frank. Got him, got him. I think he's got me. He's got me. 
Got him! Fish on! Well, like I said, he's got me. He's got a bow on your pole there, that's for sure. Yeah, well, he's taking line again. He can either feel the vibrations of the boat, or he can feel me bringing him up to shallower water. Yeah. To where he wants, he knows that that's not the element he wants to be in. Okay, he's coming to the left. I don't want him to go that way. Yeah, he's on Bob's side. I want him. But he's right here. Here he comes. Very, very hard to see. Okay, now this is it here. This is where we say, yeah, we have to lasso him or we have to net him. There's no gaffing. So Frank's got the net out. I need to come this side. Did you get that fish, Bob? Yeah, I see him. Here he comes. Here he comes. There's the weight. I know. Hold on, let me get the snare. Hold on. Okay, he's too big. Get the snare. The net's too small. He's got to get the snare. Okay, go okay now this. Okay, he's got to put it inside the pole and then onto the fish. All right, got it? Okay, got it. All right. All right, watch out. Back up, everybody. All right. Release it. Hold it. Okay. Now, he's going to release the hook, hook release so we can get the pole out of the way. All right. All right. Nice fish, Frank. Nice fish, Frank. Thank you very much. Hey, my first keeper. All right. Okay. Huge. He's huge, Fred. Yeah. Yeah, he's huge. Okay, Frank, nice fish. Thank you. Now, he's going to release the um, the lasso, which I call, and you call it... The snap swivel. No. Snare. Oh, the snap swivel. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the quick he, release. He took the quick release. Now, I want to show you this. This is this is something unique, especially when you're catching big fish like this and you want to release the hook and get the pole away so that you can work on the fish. Is This swivel here um, is pretty good size and it's got a, a hook eye on it to where you just bring it back and it hooks into it and then what he did was he just took the leader off and left the hook in the fish. Now we can get the pole away, get it out of the way, and then we can deal with the fish. And as you can see, you don't want anything in your way when you're dealing with something this size. Can't get that. So you don't want anything in your way when you're trying to release a fish like this because, again, it's a good sized fish. You need lots of room on the bottom of your boat. And now he's going to release snare. the snare. Release it here. It allows you to take the line bigger, less you bigger. Now, if your pole was still hooked up to that hook, he wouldn't be he's able to do out. this. So that's why you need to take that out, especially when you're dealing with a fish like this and you and you catch them in a snare like that. So it's very important. Now the hook is still in there. The hook is still in the fish, and Frank can handle it very easily. He could unhook it, and uh, and there won't be any problem. There's no uh, nothing to deal in with the, with the pole or anything in his way. It's also on the lip hook. So now he takes the hook out, and then we can use that for another bait. Now let's measure it. It's got a good size. Good, Good, uh, you want to go from tip of tail? Yeah, tip of tail. And it's 59 and a half inches. Thank you. My first sturgeon, guys, this is it. Now, when I did the other sturgeon show uh, out in the uh, North Bay, uh, I think uh, Captain Chuck and uh, our other guest, he said that this was, uh, what is it, one or two a lifetime? It's it's a lifetime fish. It's not really easy to catch. Uh, you put in a lot, a lot of time, a lot, a lot of hour, a lot, a lot of effort. And this was worth it right here. And now I want I want you. Now I'm out with some some experienced fishermen. This is my first time 
or my second time out sturgeon fishing in the bay, and this is my first legal catch. So I've already done it. I can die a happy man right now, and I've already done what they said would take a lifetime to do, and that's to catch one. That's one of your toys. Now, let's go with the size again. The minimum, 46. The minimum, 46 inches. And the biggest is 72 inches. So if it's smaller than 46, you have to release. Yeah, release it back in the water. And larger than 72. Larger than 72. You have to release. So we're right in that scale of what we need to be. And there is no gaffing. There is no... That's okay. It's dirty. Shake my hand. Thank you again. This is, this is something to celebrate about. Now, Bob, it's your turn. Let's go do it. Let's do it. And Frank's got one, so we're going to see if we can top. Now, limit is two. And it's one a person. One a person. Okay, he's too big. Get the snare. And that's too small. He's got to get the snare. Okay, go okay now this. Okay, he's got to put it inside the pole and then onto the fish. All right, got it? Yeah, got it. All right. All right, watch out. Back up, everybody. All right. Release it. Hold it. Okay, now he's going to release the hook. Hook release so we can get the pole out of the way. All right. All right. Nice fish, Frank. Nice fish, Frank. Thank you very much. Hey, my first keeper. All right. Okay. Huge. He's huge, Fred. Yeah. Yeah, he's huge. Yeah, we're going to. Well, I'd like to end the show right here, and I would like to thank our my host and uh, my guide again. Thank you very much for a great day of fishing. And I have a couple of thanks to, to, to put out here. I'd like to thank uh, Classic Diner for their contributions for today's show, and also Scooter's Pizza for a contribution uh, to the, today's show. And um, before I leave you for today's show, I want to show you the, the sturgeon that we did catch. And um, we're going to reach down and grab these things. Now, it's probably going to be too long. You want to grab one of them? Hang on, Bob. That's not a jersey. Let me grab them, brother. Back to back. Let's we'll see the back to back. Oh, and these oh, are the those, fish those that we caught giant. today. Now, I've been out sturgeon fishing twice, caught eight shakers, and you've seen that show when we did the North Bay, and this time we went out to the South Bay and we caught two keepers. So this is proof that there are sturgeon out there and they can be caught. Again, I want to thank uh, my special guest and my guide. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. Until next time, this is Fred Bleva. Wishing okay. What size do you think it is? I'd say 40. 44. It's... Now, what's the minimum? 46. It's a 45-inch fish. So it's not a keeper. It's not a keeper.